Hi everyone, last time we created a coroutine which takes a string and then allows us to send via the send method on the coroutine object searches of um, combinations of letters um, which then, if they do exist in that, in that piece of text, we um, get a response saying it sure is and if it's not, better luck next time. So just to remind ourselves, we can we can do this. So we can create a coroutine object um, and assign it the um, identifier x, and then we can put in our string or our text, which is this is another orbital video, and then we can we have to apply the the next method on the coroutine, which then takes us from outside the first parentheses into the parentheses set and just before the yield so now it's now the coding is waiting for us to input something via the send method so we send that command now we can say now we can search for something called uh, let's search for is via the send method and it sure is it's there it's found it if we now do um, send something else which is not there such as foo better luck next time so this is cool the recovery team's working it's doing something for us but it's a bit annoying having to write this dot e um, x dot next as in setting up the code team to start um, um, to make it ready for us to send things to it so what we can do is we can use a decorator um, to get around this and a decorator is just something which takes a function and returns a function so what we're going to do is we're going to define a decorator and a decorator is just like um, a function, a Python function. So let's define decor. So this is our decorator. And what it's going to take is it's going to take a function. And then it's going to return a new function, which we're going to call new function. And we're going to define what it is here. So define new function. And what this new function takes is some text. So here we're defining a function called decor. It takes a function called func and it returns a new function called new func. And new func takes our text. It's then going to create a um, it's it's going to be doing just what we did over in the command um, in in the in the interpreter, where we're saying func, which is actually going to be our coroutine, um, coroutine, <laughs> our coroutine called coroutine. It's a bit confusing. We're going to assign um, the identifier x, and we're going to pass it to the text that we want. But instead of returning that, which we did last time, we want to say x dot next. So we're taking it through the we're taking. Um, we're initializing the coroutine and then what the function is going to do is just return x. So now what we can do is say in front of our coroutine we use the at expression decor and that's it. So we can save that. So what this is going to do is, is it's, going to, it's going to allow us just to call coroutine as we did last time and give it text except for now this syntax here is going to cause Python to take us up to this point and treat this this coroutine function as func and then return um, new func which is will be our uh, our, our, our post dot next expression so if we save that come over here restart our Python Let's um, import all again. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to say x equals coroutine, just as before. And then, like I did, I'll put in the same. This is another orbital video. Orbital video. And this time, we can just straight away start saying, start sending it search um, results. So another bam it works straight away no dot nexting which is annoying okay thanks everyone